Hey guys, part two from that cook that I started yesterday, kind of that got split in two, continued here. Um, these are um, St. Louis cut style pork ribs. And I did a little bit of yellow mustard as a binder. There's the rub that I already made in the last video. And I tried to do them a little bit lighter. Because as you saw in that last video, I think my daughter thought there was too much pepper with the beef. So I'm going to do these a little bit lighter. And we're gonna, I'm going to try to get them started earlier this morning. It's about 8.30 in the morning. And I think I'm going to let these ride all day and try not to wrap them. So we'll see how that goes. All right, getting things rolling this morning. Uh, today we're going to go with apple wood. I've been using pecan and cherry for a long time and I tried to decide to try something different. I think I'm going to set them up like this with the thicker ends towards the fire. Because uh, if I did them left, right, they may not cook even. And I think I'm going to get these things started and I'm not even coming back. We're going out probably for five hours. So I'm just going to let the whole thing ride. And it's going to be the same setup. These will be off. That's going to be completely all the way on low. I'll have some wood and just uh, let it go slow and low today. Okay, so let's see where we're at. We were out all day for about six hours, and these have just been sitting here around 250 all day. I haven't even opened it, looked at it, nothing. I'm thinking they're probably about done. I'm not sure. Meat has pulled back a little bit. And I'm going to go get a probe. So grabbing my probe here, these are definitely right where I want them to be. I'm pretty stoked. That just goes right right in there like it's butter. That's what I want. It goes right through. If I were to temp it, it's kind of hard to temp these with the bone there, but let's see if I can get a spot. Right there. On 200. Hey guys, so it's almost time for dinner. We're kind of back where we started, running around uh, 250 or so. And uh, I had pulled those off earlier. They were good. I covered in some foil loosely and they. Uh, pan and then uh, when it's ready to eat I put them back on for about 10 minutes to firm up that bark again and then put that honey bourbon glaze on it and look at these things man those are looking good glazed up I'm gonna pull these off let them rest for five minutes cut them and we're having dinner you want this one or you want this one? I want this one. Here, this one looks good. Oh. It's got a little uh, smoke ring on it. Here, try. Try a piece. Grab it. Take a bite. Mmm, clean bite. Good. Look, it's a clean bite. You can't win competitions if you don't have a clean bite. Okay, take another bite. Yeah. You're a duck. Kyle. Kyle. With a dirty face like that. Alright, take a bite. There we go. There. Oh my gosh. Did you get it? Look at that bite. How's it taste? On the floor. <laughs> <laughs> 